I was like, hello? Is this the entrance to hell? The first time I visited a bathhouse was in LA about 10 years ago, and I was 19 years old. I was introduced to the idea of bathhouses by a gay roommate that I had. I thought he was lying at first. The concept of a bathhouse being an area where gay men meet for sexual activity just didn't seem legal to me. He told me there were a few bathhouses in LA and that I should consider getting a hands-on experience? Y'all already know I'm a very curious and pretty down dude so I couldn't resist going. I looked one up and decided to go on my own. I showered and I prepared because I didn't know what was gonna happen. This was on a Friday night and they were advertising for an adult performer to have like a meet and greet or something. So I figured it'd be a good night to go. When I arrive at the bathhouse I noticed that it's like a three-story building. I'm like dang this is pretty big. I step up to the entrance and it's pretty much just a window with an attendant there. So obviously he asks for ID to make sure that I'm over 18 and he lets me know that all the rooms are booked up but I can still purchase a locker and I'm like that's fine that's in my head I'm like that's all that I was planning on doing anyway you know they have a set of rules one of the ones being that you're not allowed to have your phone out and the dress code is a towel only so I'm like okay cool I'm assuming you're able to wear your underwear underneath I mean who's who's gonna know I pay he hands me a towel and the key to my locker so the real entrance into the bathhouse is this big metal door and he presses a button to unlock the door and I walk right in. The first thing I can recall was the smell. It smelled like a sauna, kind of like the steam had been lingering around the place, you know? As I walk in, it's a long hallway. The lights are all dim, except for red neon lights that are ambient all the way down the hall. There are guys in their towels everywhere. And I'm trying not to make eye contact with any of the guys because I just want to get to my locker. I get to my locker. I'm already wearing sandals, so I remove all my clothes except for my underwear and I wrap the towel around my waist. The locker key came with a band, so I put it around my wrist and I stepped back out onto the hallway. Now these guys weren't really talking much. It sounded like they had music playing on like the second level, but this floor was like fairly quiet. All these guys are just staring at me. And I mean, I get it. I was 19 years old. I was in okay shape. I really did feel like a flashlight in a house of moths, if you will. I try and mean that in the most humble way possible. I was 19, so a lot of these guys just looked older to me. I knew that was a demographic that was going to be there, but it's like I already knew what I was getting myself into. So as I'm walking down the hallway, I'm still trying not to make any eye contact with anyone. I just kind of want to explore the place and see the different rooms that they have. Yes, some guys were handsy, and yes, some were inviting me to join them in their room. I played it off very nicely and, you know, politely declined. So when I make it to the end of the hallway, I turn and I realize there's another long ass hallway. I'm like, geez, man, this place is huge. But at the end of this hallway, I noticed that there was a pool at the end of it. I walk down the hallway, I make no eye contact with anyone and I get to the pool area. They had a small pool and then they also had like two jacuzzis. One of the jacuzzis was empty and the other jacuzzi had an older Asian gentleman by himself. I'm gonna go sit next to this guy and I'm gonna pretend I'm with him. <laughs> so I go up to him and I ask if it's okay if I join him. He was like, of course. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, yes, this guy was completely nude in the tub. So I just sit at the edge of the jacuzzi and I put my feet in and I didn't want to take off my towel because I felt like there were still eyes on me. I made small conversation with the gentleman and I asked what else this bathhouse had to offer. He let me know that on the second floor was where they had the showers and they also had more rooms. He let me know that if I came to see the adult performer that he would be performing on the third floor on the main stage. And I'm like, a stage? What the heck? I had to go check out the rest of the place. I thanked this very nice older man and and I went about my way. So as I'm going up the stairs, there are guys that are hooking up on like random corners. Okay, cool. Just, you know, gonna pass by you here. As I made it up to the second level, I realized that the higher levels were definitely not PG-13. You know, as I'm going down the hallway, there are guys in their room that are advertising themselves for others to come and play with them. There were also other rooms where guys were inviting everyone to be part of an experience kind of shocked. It was nothing I'd ever seen before. I'm like, wow, I can't believe this is actually legal. As I'm walking past the showers, I see in the corner of my eye activity happening in there. I'm like, geez. I make it up to another staircase at least to the third floor. And this floor is like the darkest floor that they have. The only thing that's keeping this floor lit are the red ambient neon lights. Looks like a red room. They should call it the red floor. This is the floor where the older gentlemen let me know that they had their main stage. I notice there's a group of guys standing outside of this entryway. I make my way towards the area and I see inside Side, and it is a black room full of mirrors with one spotlight and that spotlight on the adult performer. And I can't say what the adult performer was doing for YouTube guideline reasons. Let's just say he had very big toys. So I didn't stay at the stage area for too long. That wasn't the reason why I went to the bathhouse. So I go back to the stairway and I noticed that it goes up another floor and I'm like, what the heck? 
four stories and they had a sign that said that they were only open during the day. I'm like, oh, this place has a rooftop deck. That's pretty down. Looks like I'm gonna have to come back during the day. I realized that this was enough for my first time. I just wanted to get an idea of what a bathhouse was like and I think I got that. <laughs> I make my way all the way back down to the locker area. I put on my clothes, I turn in my towel, and I turn in my key. It's funny because when I was walking to my car, I felt like I had done something bad. Not bad, but you know like that feeling you get whenever you like walked in on someone or caught someone doing something bad? <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I also felt a little unfinished. Maybe it was blue balls or something, I don't know. So yeah, that was my first time at a bathhouse. Stay tuned for the video where I talk about the last time that I went to a bathhouse. Spoiler alert, it was the same bathhouse. I just really wanted to check out the rooftop deck during the day. And I wasn't as prudy this time around. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Delfino and I'll see you next time. Bye.